Hey, Scott here, Scotty's Animals. Man, I feel styling. I got fresh haircut, I just shaved. I'm wearing my Jade Joshua Tree Jade necklace. These are at my Etsy shop to support the guinea pig sanctuary. So there's still a few of these left. And in the mail, I just got my Piggy Smalls t-shirt. This is the long sleeve version and the fabric is really nice and soft. And I'm really excited. Today, I wanna to talk about Benebac. That's the probiotic paste. I've mentioned it before in a number of my videos. There's a million reasons why you wanna have it as part of your emergency kit and why you would want to use it. So first off, whenever your guinea pigs are on antibiotics, you've always got to replenish that the bacteria in their gut because antibiotics can often kill the gut bacteria and so probiotics replenish the gut and they make sure that the gut flora as it's known is in tip-top shape so anytime you're on antibiotics always do a probiotic even if your vet doesn't mention it it's something that you should instinctively know and you should also know when you're giving antibiotics you want to do the probiotics like Benabac a few hours either before or after. If you're doing the antibiotics once a day at night, then you wanna give the probiotics in the morning. Or if you're giving the antibiotics in the morning, you want to give the probiotics later that day or at night. You just don't wanna give them at the same time because they tend to counteract each other. So you wanna separate those. And it is very frequent, and in fact, this is what I believe happened to Mike, but it's very frequent that piggies will uh, go, they'll have bloat, they'll have digestion issues, they might even run into GI stasis, which is where their entire digestion just shuts down because of antibiotics. So always have this on hand in your emergency kit, and if you know that your piggy's gonna be on antibiotics, then get that as soon as possible. So this is what I wanna talk about now. I always recommend the Benabac probiotic paste. It comes in that syringe. I'll show you a picture of it right here. There's a link to it in the illness section of my guinea pig care guide. I love it, but lately I've been noticing that it's not always in stock, at least where I get it on Amazon. I found a really good price for it. Sometimes you can get it at the vet. Sometimes you can find little small tubes at a local pet shop, but the, the syringe is what I really like because it's a paste. They only need like a pea-sized amount and that is good for one dose. But it's been really hard to come by. The last couple times I've tried to order it, they've said, well, it's not gonna be in stock for a week or two. And I needed it basically as soon as I could get it. I was able to find it on uh, Petco's website, but I would rather have it on hand and you know not have to hunt around for it. Benabac actually comes in a couple different forms. I mentioned you can get it in these little small tubes, you can get it in the big plastic syringe, which I like and I've gotten really used to dosing it that way, but it also comes as a powder. Now you can imagine what a great thing about the powder is, is it lasts longer. It actually comes in a big cup, which has like 10 times the amount. So I ordered a bit of this powder. My original intention was that I could mix the powder into a paste and suck it up into that syringe, thinking that it was the same thing, and then I could just have a syringe full of the paste. Well, it doesn't actually exactly work like that. You want to mix it up individually. So I'm gonna show you right now how to mix up the powder, but Having the dry powder as an emergency, I still think I'm gonna have a tube or the syringe because I just like the way that stuff comes out, but it is more expensive. For the same price as the syringe, you can get a whole cup of this stuff and it seems like the cup is 10 times, if not like practically 100 times more doses. But I'll put a link in the description to both the syringe and the cup of this powder so you can go and you can check out the differences for yourself but i always recommend benabac is something you want in your emergency kit because you never know when you're going to need it i was talking about antibiotics but it's also really great if you see soft poops runny poops funky poops anything like that you really want to get on that 
So have the Benevac and you know, a couple days, if your piggies have soft poops, a couple days of Benevac and it really should clear it up. So right now I'm gonna show you how to mix it and then I have to give it to Mike. Mike has had some soft squishy poops lately and also, you know, after his bloat, it's just something that he, since he was on a course of antibiotics, I really want to get his gut working properly. But he's had some really, he, after his bloat for the first couple days after he was feeling better, his poops were fine. And now they're a little bit funky and gross and, and actually kind of clumpy. So I just want to make sure that I stick with the Benevac. I went through a whole tube and, and so now I'm trying this powder. So let's check it out how it mixes and then we'll come back and I'm going to give Mike the Benevac. This is the Benevac, the powder. It comes in this jar here and it's basically the same stuff, the same ingredients as the paste, except you can see four and a half ounces in this jar compared to the half of an ounce of the paste and, and there's no water, so you're not paying for water. So this measuring spoon thing here is a quarter of a teaspoon. And so for a one to five pound animal, you're supposed to use one teaspoon. And so I'm now adding water to it. I ended up adding two milliliters of water and I let it dissolve and I mixed it up and so now I'm filling the syringes to give to Mike. Okay, just so you know, they actually on the directions want you to sprinkle this over their food, but I have this feeling that if I was to just sprinkle the powder over their food, I wouldn't be able to guarantee how much of it he's getting. But I know that just by feeding him the liquid, and look, good boy, Mikey. Good boy. He likes it. Mikey likes it. <laughs> good boy. So that was one. Now what I did is I took the one tablespoon amount for a, an animal that weighs one to five pounds, and I added two tables, or I added uh, two milliliters of water. And so when I mixed the two milliliters in water, I was hoping to do one milliliter, but it just was too gel grimy. So two gave me just enough liquid. And I did a Google search. Of course, you know, I didn't know what to do if I could even mix it with water. That was really good. Now there's actually just a little bit left over because of course the two milliliters of water plus the powder equals uh, a little bit more material than two. So about two and a quarter, two and a half milliliters. So I still have one more uh, half syringe probably to give him, but that was really great. So I did a Google search and somebody said on one of these message boards, that's my finger. You wouldn't bite my finger. They said that that's what they did is they just mixed it in a little bit of water and that everything was fine. And they actually said that that piggies like the taste of it. And to be honest, when I was mixing it, I had a little bit that I had to clean off of the syringe and I did taste it and it almost tasted like granulated sugar. You like it, huh? You like it? I love you so much, Mr. Mike. I love you. I'm glad you're feeling better. You got to get your poopies under control. But Mike all day today was sitting under the big uh, hay pile and uh, digging out of the snack shack. He, he was all day, you know, as soon as I walked by, he would cry. He'd be like, come on, give me something besides hay. But when I, I said, no, you got to eat your hay. You got to get your poopies and your teeth under control. And so he went back to eating his hay. I'm very proud of him. We're going to get some peppers later. We're going to get some carrots. We're going to have some treats. Yes, because you earned it. I know, I know. I love you so much. I love you. But I just wanted to do a quick video about Benabac and about how you can use it in a different way for the same thing, for soft poops 
and to prevent soft poops and for any digestive issues and if you're on antibiotics. But it's nice to know that you have the powder, which is going to last longer. It For the same price, you get many, many more doses. And as you can see, Mikey likes it. You know, that's, that's a concern. In fact, I will tell you that the paste that comes out of the syringe, Mike is spitting it out. I have to hide it in pieces of lettuce. But with that powder, he really actually seemed to just like it a lot more just now. So that's really good. Now, I'm going to reward him with some treats. I'll give him a little bit of carrot and maybe some sweet pepper. What do you think? But you got to focus on your hay. Okay, so that's it. There will be a link in the description to that. And I really do hope that you guys always have Benna back on hand. And not only that, but that you guys are really focusing on building and maintaining your emergency kit. You can go to my free guinea pig care guide on my website, Scotty's Animals, and you will see a video by Skinny Pigs One about an emergency kit. There's also a playlist. And if you've been watching my channel recently, you saw my trip to the Dollar Tree where I found a whole bunch of items for my emergency kit <laughs> and also an avocado mask for me and some really fancy uh, different kind of teas. So uh, that's a little teaser about the teas. Um, <laughs> okay, now we're just getting silly. So I hope you guys have a really great rest of the day. And until next time, thanks for watching.